Okay, so Jay, uh, you mentioned the problems you have in your environment with your wireless, uh, like uh, you would walk down the hall and you would lose connection or it will get really bad or um, Sharon actually mentioned the different problems she has that usually around noon she starts having problems and so on. So there's not one answer what is going on. You really have to use all these tools that you already mentioned like spectrum analyzer and then protocol analyzers. You have, you did your site survey probably so you know what are sources of interference. Yes. But I want to talk a little more about this interference because just about everyone today will have interference problems and mostly we see these interference problems in 2.4 gigahertz frequency range. Just to make sure we understand, it's not that they are intentional interferences, most of the interferences are unintentional interferences. Uh, and they can be uh, narrow band or they can be wide band or all band interferences. So what am I talking about? Again, if I go back to 2.4 gigahertz, this could be one channel that is jammed. Uh, or that you have extremely high noise, maybe just on one channel, and as you walk down the hall, you move to another channel, you simply roam with your device, and it's better on different channel, or Sharon, maybe you walk by microwave oven, or you are just in your cafeteria area, and microwave oven will jam more channels at a time, or, Maybe we do have some of the older cordless phones around and those are all band jammings because they are frequency hopping systems. So that's why uh, having this site survey is so important and spectrum analysis so that we see what's going on on layer 2. We do see much less interference in 5 gigahertz because there are not so many devices yet in this frequency range. And another interference that you probably see all the time is actually adjacent channel interference. Definition, there are two or maybe three definitions of what adjacent channel is, but industry kind of settle on definition that that is the channel that is previous or next number. For example, if I'm on channel 6, adjacent channel is channel 5 and channel 7. And why is that such a bad interference? Because, as you remember, FCC requires transmissions, uh, FCC requires transmissions to be 22 plus minus one megahertz. But our channel, for example, this channel six, is only five megahertz. So now when you imagine this transmission happen, this transmission will actually take more than one channel, and if there is another device on channel 7, we will simply interfere with that transmission. So this adjacent channel interference is really bad, and that doesn't mean that necessarily you configured something wrong, you could configure just fine, you know, with those non-overlapping channels 1, 6, and 11, but your neighbor above, your neighbor below, or just maybe the neighbor across the street configured with a channel number that interferes with you. Uh, so I mentioned frequency hopping systems, phones, Bluetooth is frequency hopping, uh, baby monitors, in hospital environment you will have so many, so many medical devices that will use the same range and they will be frequency hopping systems, microwaves, um, this is just another access point, your neighbor, maybe yourself, if uh, there was some kind of misconfiguration for whatever reason. And there's one more interference that is called co-channel interference. To be honest, co-channel interference is not really interference. It just means that there are two access points on the same channel next to each other. So it's not that transmissions interfere, it is simply that, um, remember, um, wireless medium is shared medium, channel is shared. So if you are both on channel six, 
that becomes one extremely large cell and they just compete for the access to that medium. So performance degradation is still noticeable or very noticeable, but it's definitely not interference. It does not result in layer two retransmissions, which you already know are really, really bad for this environment.